Hello and welcome to week number two of Fabric Tip Friday. Uh, these little clips we're gonna try to do every week here at Air Tech Coatings, hopefully to provide some information for the new guy learning to do fabric covering or even the guy that's been doing it 30 years. I mean, I've, I've did it for probably 30 years and I still pick up little tips along the way almost on a weekly basis. So, and we also post stuff off and on during the middle of the week, not just on Friday. So with that being said, or new products coming along or where we're gonna be, we're, we're gonna start doing some seminars around the country. So if you wanna kinda of stay in touch where we're gonna be, uh, he'll put the little thing down here for the Instagram and the Facebook. Go ahead and join or like us or follow us and that way you'll be able to keep up with where we're at. Uh, this week, I already can tell doing one every week is going to be a little bit of a challenge of finding something really interesting every week that's not just the same old thing of showing you how to stitch or something like that. Most every company has done a good job on that sort of thing. Uh, I was doing some stuff. We're, we're making an actual color chart because we don't have a company that does our paint that we can have a color chart. So we're actually, since I bought AirTech, I'm making a true 65 color color chart of our most popular colors out of the 850 colors we have. And I had some extra purple in the paint gun and, and I, I hate pouring that out. I've been trying to get just amount to do what I've been doing every week and uh, didn't want to pour it out and, and it hit me. I knew just what I wanted to do this on this week. I had some, uh, I had some primer on stretched fabric. It's not our pri primer and it's not another fabric company's primer. It was something else that I was looking at and wanting to test. And actually I was satisfied my need for what I wanted. And I was fixing to take a razor and cut it off these little frames and throw it away. But I said, this will be a good chance to, to explain this. And what it is is on color, or I'm, excuse me, on primer sanding. You hear people companies, our company, or other covering companies, or the whole industry of painting, when they say, you need to rough up the primer, they'll say, you need to sand it a little bit to give it, I call it a mechanical bite. Uh, you'll, hear them, you'll hear some of them say, and including ours, if you put the color on within so many hours, like a couple days, you're good, it'll adhere to it. I am very skeptical, skeptical of that. I still tell people, let's always go ahead and scuff it because you're wanting it to be able to bite into the primer. I've heard some guys spray primer and just wait a couple hours and go right into color. If you paint like I do, you always have some little something you're wanting to sand out or smooth up anyhow. Uh, beware of some primers going in too soon. They haven't fully cured enough that you'll get what they call dieback, which means the primer is gonna pull from your paint. It's gonna hinder your shine. So I like to let the primer set a day or so before I, I paint. And you should be within that window to, for it to chemically adhere to it. But I always want to rough sand it. I'll have guys call and, it, and I just cringe the fact I say, well, they'll say I sanded it and I put one more coat of primer on and then I painted it. And I'm like, well, when did you paint it? Where we differ in guys with fabric airplanes and working on, we differ from the automotive. The guy doing automotive work, when he primes a fender, he's ready to get that car out of there and he's probably gonna put paint on within a day and it's gone. Us airplane guys will cover the wings and then we'll put them in the wing rack and they'll set for no telling how long and then come back and you got dirt on them and it, I just cringe when these guys say, well, I did a real good job priming. I just went on ahead and painted them. And what I wanted to kind of show, and I hope this don't prove to bite me, um, I just I had these both and I was going to throw them away. On this one, I can get a hold of this paint. Now, you probably can't see. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. Um, I've scratched at it, and it looks like it is adhering pretty well. This was painted yesterday morning. And it looks like it has a pretty good bite on it. Uh, there is a little X, and what that means was, was I took 320 scant sandpaper and I roughed this. And when I say I roughed it, when you're sanding on a wing, you don't want to not do between the rib stitching. Sometimes you can get a sponge type 
uh, sanding paper that'll go over them and not cut the rib. When you get up in the corners, you want to kind of fog the paint in all, or the primer in all of those areas. On this one, the primer looked nice. You could kind of see the weave and it looked like that, you know, I mean, that's, it was painted outside. There is a little trash and stuff. I was just shooting it, had extra paint. You know, I would be happy with my wing looking like. I mean, I see the shine, I see that air tech shine, I see that calendar over there, and I can read even the small. I mean, the, the shine is there. The orange peel is at a minimum. I just did one good coat of this purple. The guy pulls up in his purple J3, whatever the situation may be, and he's happy. He's flown it a week, he's flown it a year, he's flown it five minutes. Let's uh, Let's say a bug hits it somewhere here and gets the paint started. Yep, this is gonna be one demonstration. Paint gets started. That's pure paint coming off of the primer. I never sanded that, that primer. And that is, that is 36, old, 36 hour old AirTech. You know, it's doing its job. It's flexible. Most paints are flexible within a day or within a year or six months. There's an example. I sat here and scratched. Don't know I'm, where the camera is. You can see where I've dug at this and tried to get this started, and that's the difference. I had sanded that, and then this is not a happy day when you land and all your buddies is pointing towards your wing and saying, what's going on here? There's a lot of work has went on there for something like that to happen. So I hope this little tip, you know, when people says sanded the primer, to get a mechanical bond. That's what we're talking about, is getting it to where the paint has something to grab onto because the, you know, in some primers, I've even tested my primer and it will hold pretty good. This is not AirTech primer on this, but I'm always scared because it's, it's told in the instructions to rough it up if you're gonna paint after a certain length of time. Thank you.